So there's six core strategies that I talk about in the book, and I'll just briefly touch on them here because, and the thing to remember is whatever you do is amazing. I think as an educator, it can get really overwhelming in terms mm -hmm. of what am I supposed to say? Am I saying the right thing? And I think, you know, you even listening to this, even, even paying attention and caring about your students and having the intention of helping them, that's enough. So I think we just to take the pressure off that it has to be the perfect thing. But the six strategies that are really vital, the first one is validation. And that means just simply saying, I see you, I care about you, I hear you, what you're saying is valid. So really making sure you give them that, you know, yes, thank you for sharing that. The next one is helping them navigate their feelings. So really just asking them about their feelings. How do you feel about that to, you know, mark that you just got on that test. How do you feel about your friendships? And just encouraging them to start thinking about their feelings. The next one is to really help them recognize their patterns. This is a, a little bit of a tricky one, but just gently helping them notice, hey, you know, you notice when you're around that friend group, you're always pretty loud and boisterous. You know, do you notice that? You know, or I notice every time we have an assignment coming up, you get quiet and hang in the back of the room. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Just helping them notice because when we're young, we don't know what we're doing. We don't recognize that we're maybe caught in a cycle. So gently doing that. And the more we've connected and validated them, the more we can say those things without it feeling really confronting for students, but we've got to help them recognize that. So those three skills really help students start to self-reflect. And then the second three skills are all about helping them take action. How can I help myself in this situation? So the first one is helping them shift their paradigm. So that just means helping them see things a different way. So like I did with, with the girl who didn't like school, helping them recognize, oh, I don't like school, not because I'm terrible at it, but because people weren't nice to me. So just pointing out, you know, hey, maybe you don't like tests because you get a little bit nervous not because you're bad at them, or maybe you're failing these tests, not because you, you lack intelligence, but because maybe you need a few tweaks in the way you're studying, you know, so just changing that narrative in their mind. The next one is about remembering their power. So that's really simple in terms of pointing out even simple things like, I know you've got this, or you probably have more courage than you realize, or, hey, I saw you do that really, you know, great thing in sport. You know, I bet you, you can use that skill now. You know, I saw you, you know, whatever it is, be, be really powerful on the basketball court. You know, I know you have this courage in you, whatever it is. And then the piece of, of strategy is helping them use a skill. And this is the one we think is the only one that go, you know, that they can do is, and the skill honestly doesn't matter. It could be anything. It could be them taking a deep breath. It could be them thinking a different thought. It could be them setting a boundary with someone. But if we encourage them to do something to help themselves, that's what gives them agency. So we're not sweeping in and saying, let me fix this for you. Let me... Mm -hmm you know, tell that student off because they were mean to you. Sure, we need to help and encourage and set boundaries for them and all those things, but they need to be able to do something in a moment that's hard to help themselves. And if you encourage them and simply asking them, hey, what do you usually do when things are hard for you? Can you try that now? You know, that's a really simple way to really encourage them to start going, oh, I do have a skill set. I can help myself. So those are the six strategies. Again, the pressure's off in terms of when and how and what order. But if you can try to incorporate one of those in, in an interaction with a student, it will help them tremendously. Just one of them will make a big difference is what I'm hearing. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, I appreciate this and, and this is very helpful and I'm, I'm looking forward to getting my hands on a copy of the book as well. I, I've already learned a lot. And I think at the end of the day, what you're doing already, teachers, we, we, we're assuming that you're already trying and what you're doing works. So we're providing some additional support for you in those those aspects. Mm -hmm. I'd love Haley for you to take us home with maybe one final word of advice you want to provide to our listeners. Yeah. So I think what you just said is really poignant. And I want to echo that educators have the hardest job and to balance all of the things that you're balancing and pay attention to students' mental health can seem really overwhelming and daunting. And I just want to really reinforce that you just showing up and, and caring about your students is light years ahead of probably what you realize that, you know, in terms of the impact that you're having, the ripple effect of that is massive. So really remembering how much you're already doing and remembering that just showing up 
and caring about each of your students, paying attention to them, noticing when things are hard for them. That's really all you need to do on a day-to-day -day basis. And then all of these other things, you you know, you sprinkle them in as and when you can, but really just remembering that you are doing so much already and keep doing what you're doing. I'm so grateful for you, each and every one of you. So thank you for, for the work that you do. All right. Well, once again, I'm talking to Dr. Haley Watson, author of Finding the Words, Empowering Struggling Students Through Guided Conversations. Haley, if we have some folks that want to connect with you, what's the best way to reach you online? LinkedIn is great. Um, Dr. Haley Watson on LinkedIn. Also, um, openparachuteschools.com is our website with all of our resources, and you can find information about my book on there as well. All right. Thank you again. Thanks so much for having me.